Alright, so hi everyone, it's your boy Taj Alex back with another video. Today I'm going to react to you guys um assumptions about me. Oh before we go no further in the video, like the video now may I give you five seconds for like the video. It's addictively entertaining. Alright, so the first one is...
your channel also love your consistency you know certain compliments are just um i hold certain compliments dear to my heart such as i like your smile when someone compliments my smile when someone compliments my skin it means a lot to me it means a lot to me so thanks for that compliment young lady I appreciate it. You also say you check out my channel and you love my consistency. Another thing I appreciate because I don't feel like I get enough support on my YouTube channel. And I'm glad that you could check it out and you could see that I'm consistent and I'm a trying youth in the streets. I appreciate that. Girl magnet. I'm definitely a girl, girl magnet. <laughs> I'm definitely a girl magnet. I'm not going to deny it. I'm not going to deny it. Probably that's why people think I'm a player. Because if I'm a girl magnet, next one, first impression, you're funny. Thanks. The person you say, content captivating and your laugh is like, your laugh is a drug. <laughs> they say my laugh is disgusting. <laughs> so you love it? <laughs> that's very interesting. Content captivating. Thank you very much for that again. As I said before, I do not think enough people support me. Thank you for supporting me. And you're fine. Thank you. I appreciate that also. Um, Becky, there. I not call out nobody. I'm waiting there. So that person say, me love chat. As a matter of fact, I'm going to load you up because the next one where you say, you need a leak for that. Becky that underscore that the realest say you love chat she also said that i'm a freak those are those are her assumptions about me me love chat i'm a freak um he's such a darling um fit him dick seems big and she just say you're cocky you know all that job him. but me alone her up because he's a freak me a freak I look like a freak there. Anyway, thanks for assuming that my dick is big. <laughs> He's such a darling. Ah, oh, thanks. I love Chad. I love Chad for real. But I know everybody ever get that side there. Me. As I mentioned earlier, somebody assumes I'm a bit shy. Enough people think I love Chad. Enough people think I love Chad. It all depends on the energy. Um. Next person say, nice looking dark skin boy. Then the boy your voice you ready. Then the youth you funny. <laughs> my voice is kinda weird for real, you know. If you really listen, my voice is kinda weird. But I don't feel enough people pick up I really am midzy. My voice is weird for real. Um thanks so much. Um as I say I love when people compliment my skin. She say nice looking dark skin boy. Thank you for that. Thanks for saying that I'm funny. I appreciate that also. Um, that person asked you to say, I wasn't sociable and I'm, I'm a bit judgy, I guess. Um, this girl says she think me the judgmental because of something. Not I, not not something with me saying I'm a video. You know? Something that my brother said in a video. So my brother said something in a video and the person thought I was judgy. Not something I said, you know. Something my brother said. And me get blamed for it. And next person said, that boy and I see. Worse me, worse me like my name will chalk it out. Wonder if he want me. <laughs> I guess you know the answer to that. Because we eventually start talking. I didn't even for cocky up one time. That I was gone. I don't even remember why didn't I cocky up. Anyways, if you still want to get cocked up, just make me know still. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but thanks for the compliments. Thanks for the compliments. Thanks for the compliments. Hit me up. The person said thought you were handsome and you seemed like a flirt. Definitely. I'm very, very flirtatious. Very. If you know me, you know say I'm very flirtatious. Like, my personality, me just 
very, me just flirt with you, just dog. I'm smooth. I'm smooth, brother. I'm just smooth, dog. I don't know. I'm just smooth, brother. Like, I'm just spontaneously smooth. Think, like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just smooth, dog. I don't know, brother. I'm just smooth. Anyway, thanks for the compliments. The press here said, This youth funny. You're a frig. Thanks. Um, is a girl saying this, you know? But it sounds like a youth. This youth funny, you're a frig. Girl talks, so. That no matter. <laughs> thanks, um, Denise. Um, this a little cute dark skin boy, huh? Always used to see you at key club events. That girl. But thanks for the compliments. This is a little cute dark skin boy. Thank you. And I guess and I guess yes and I guess that compliment is coming from when you saw me at key club events at Kingston College. At them time they are call me cute. <laughs> if I really them time they are call me cute, you're good, you know. You look for me when me used to go KC and say me cute. I said no me cute. Which one of them cause? <laughs> <laughs> I don't exaggerate still. When me used to go KC, I ne- you see how I'm handsome now? I never, never saw handsome then. But I still handsome. You see what I say? So I don't na- diss myself. So. You see what I say? Put some respect for me name. Alright. Next person say you were a funny and curious person first time we link on campus in 9th grade. Why you say I was a curious person? What exactly are you referring to? I know that I'm a curious person. Um, I always ask questions, I always look into things, I always find out things, I always try new things. I'm that person. But why did you say that? What experience that you had with me that made you um, say that I am a curious person? Is your mercy and thanks for the compliment you said that I'm funny. Thank you. Um, the person said I'm cool. Yeah, me I want chill you. I'm cool. Cool dude. Thanks. Um, the person said I'm a loyal laid back kid. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, the person said you're a nice dark skin boy. Thank you very much. You're always complimenting me. You're always complimenting me. You're also a beautiful dark skin girl. I want you to know that you're a beautiful dark skin girl. I'm gonna feel like we don't make cute babies. Like I'm such a handsome dark skin guy and you're such a beautiful dark skin girl. We don't make beautiful babies. Is there me I say? That no means they may invite you in our bedroom, but we just have to make you know. So we don't make beautiful um, babies. A girl I say first impression antisocial. I see why you'd say I'm antisocial because I go on a trip, I go to Ochi. And you know them trip there with teenagers, coaster bring me. You see, I step in on the coaster and I see one bag of girl around my back. I don't say morning, nothing. I just, just step in on the bus. And I just go sit down. And then for the entire trip, the girl that was sent it in, she was antisocial, she was part, part of the clique with the girl. Then. You see, it? and for the entire trip, I just never say nothing to them. Like, my brother did not interact with them. The other youth them did not interact with them. And me did just last. Me never just. Me just never did not talk to nobody. You see what I said? So, me that see why she could be a premium. I say. In not talk to nobody. You see what I say? So, I just saw me still when I did around new people. Me not go talk to you unless you talk to me. So, more you know, say, yo. At the trip, if you it, if it did actually approach me, you'd realize I'm cool, me chill. You'd realize I'm a good youth. I'm not actually antisocial. I will talk to you. You'd probably skin off your teeth. And I said, Jan, I can't believe that you did antisocial. You see what I said? That if you did come and talk to me, but they never come and talk to me. They are premium. And I said, I'm antisocial. You see that? You see that? <laughs> Um, the girl that said you're a lover boy. I think I just this already. I'm only a lover boy. It is only activated when I'm in love. Next one I say you're nerdy. What do you mean when you say me nerdy? I don't understand. What kind of nerdy are you talking about? 
What kind of nerd you are talking about? Nerd as in the glasses, geeky youth. I couldn't let you talk. I couldn't let you. I doubt that. I doubt that. How I speak sometimes, how I articulate myself, it's so nerdy. I don't know if I do that. And in a school, academically, I perform very, very well. So I don't know if I do that, as you will make you say me a nerd or so. I'm not sure. You say me weird also. Um, I'm a, I'll have to agree with you, I'm very weird. Um, but, but oh, you know that. That, that more I know. Oh, you know that. You're funny, thank you very much. Um, I thought you were extremely funny and your skin is amazing, bro. Amazing. I say I'm glad. No, I'm going to put things like that right now. Like, you always view my story, you know, but you're not on a DP, you're not on a profile picture. So, when me check my views and I see your name, and I see you without a DP, you're not going to spark my interest. You see me and say, but you spark my interest now. So come text and you know, worry yourself. The girl I say you're a lover boy. But I just that already. She, she say I'm a player. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? No. Oh yeah? You Anna? You Anastasia Smith? Think I'm a player? You? You have all for everything. Me a player. You God. Why do you have Valentine's gone and about 3 4 gifts you get? So you can't talk to me. There's no bother with it. Next person say, Full of woman. What do you mean, full of woman? As in, right now, I have about 3 girlfriends. If I that you are, but you are very much correct. <laughs> Next person say, First impression, he's way too goofy. The girl all put two exclamation mark. Well, if me too go for fear, that's a fear problem. A good thing we're not there or nothing. Because we relationship with a boring. We wouldn't have no fun. Because I don't know why you tell me about first impression is way too go for. How are this? Thanks for your um, response still. I um, respect it nonetheless. That person has to laugh my ass off. I didn't even know if I to say it. So because the person texts that, I text the person or I say, what you did really want to say? You know what the girl tell me? Your, your dick look small. That's her assumption. Your dick look small. That she never want to tell me. When I go to cry? When I go to cry because you feel like some am old little? Cry me I go cry? I'm too little girl. Eh? Remember say my born with my hood you know. You know how baby hood stay or it's small? From my born I saw my hood stay till now. I me know that. I me accept that. Me know say my hood are one inch. I me accept say my penis is one inches. 1.1 inches. No, 1.153345 inches. You see what me I say? Me accept that. I me live with that. Me I live in my truth. I me, me, embrace what God gave me. I know that. So when you go come tell me, say, I feel like my would little. Why am I going to cry? I already accept it and I already embrace it. Say, my would small, say, my would have one inch. I don't know if my would have one inch. I don't see what I'm wrong with that. Anyway, that person. Yo, I the fuck say, me get so, I the fuck say, me seem so serious about saying, me oda one inch. Crazy. Me no say, you don't believe me a while ago. You can't tell me say, someone you don't believe me a while ago. Do you mean that go on a while ago? You can't tell me say, someone you don't believe me say. Anyway, the person you say, you're very smart, can't forget that one. Thank you very much. As I say, certain compliments mean a lot to me. I smile when you compliment me, smile when you compliment my skin, but you compliment my brains. Because enough people don't know that, you know. 
Enough, pe enough people know me through social media. A picture you yeah, see. And I be a joke me run for my story. So when you can really, I mean, me, you see that girl is a freaking watcher of my channel. So I know so she watch my channel and she really take in my character and I said that you're smart, you know. Yeah man, I read that. I read that. And, and right now you're a really good person to talk to. I appreciate you. You hear what she said, but right now you're a really good person to talk to. I appreciate you, bro. I want you guys to know that. As she said, I'm a really good person to talk to and I appreciate you too, sis. Is what I say? <clears throat> if you guys feel down, if you guys feel sad, if you guys feel like you need a friend, I'm always here. You can reach out to me. I'm very cool, calm and collected. I'm a very chill person. Is what I say? I know it seems like a joke a lot on my story, but I'm, I'm someone that you can speak to. And all a serious and substantial conversation with. You see what I say? So if you are good treat, if you are struggle, if you feel like you're alone, you don't have to be alone. I am always here. You can eat my line anytime. You see what I say? So just reach out to me if you need someone to speak to. The person you say you're funny, one, two, you wouldn't get hurt but from a breakup if you did three year melanin though thanks very much for complimenting my skin once again thanks for saying that i'm funny um that's also a compliment that means a lot to me to say that i'm funny but the second assumption that you need you wouldn't get hurt bad from breakup but you wouldn't you wouldn't get hurt bad from a breakup if you did so basically you're saying if I if someone broke up with me I wouldn't get hurt bad. Why would you assume that? I honestly want to know why do I come off as a cold person? Do I come off as an insensitive person? Me not well to be honest. Out of all of my relationship them, I two of them alone hurt me. Two of them alone. And if I really, 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 really count how much of them hurt me, I one of them. Not to confuse you. You see what I say? But out of many relationships, I just too hurt me. You see what I say? So, I don't know how far off, I don't know how right or wrong you be when you say I wouldn't get hurt bad from a breakup. Because most of my relationships, them. Wait, the breakup never hurt me. I just two relationship out of the batch hurt me. And when I say hurt, I talk about hurt. I talk about pain. You ever experience emotional pain to the point where you're turning a physical pain? <laughs> Brother, nothing hurt me like love. But at the same time, nothing made me happy such as love it's so paradoxical and strange that the experience that brought out the best in me the experience that made me feel whole happy and full is the said experience that destroyed me it's very strange it's very paradoxical it's very contradicting but I guess that is love. Love breaks your heart. Love takes no less than everything. And I hope one day I'll experience love where it doesn't break my heart. And where it doesn't take no less than everything. Not to get poetic on y'all, but um... First impression. Damn, he's got a nice smile. You know, say, this are probably one of the best compliments them me get. Cause watch ya, the girl ya, the girl ya, the girl ya, a smiley when me it see. Which, you're a beautiful, you're a beautiful black girl by the way. This girl was a girl that I saw on Instagram. And, I wanted to, I, I, I liked her, you know I liked her. I liked her. You see what I mean? I say. Um, and she lives in London. And she has a very sexy accent. You know? 
um, but she was born in Nigeria. She had roots in Africa, but she lived in London with a sexy accent. The African with a sexy accent. With a sexy British accent. You know, you get what I say, dog? She come from the motherland and she have a sexy accent. So, co- the compliment, you know, dog. Coming from the girl, you know. Damn, he's got a nice smile. Chaja. <laughs> the next girl, I say, he's so fine. I want him obsessed. You, you see when you hear that girl and say I want him obsessed and a joke she a joke brother tell her the first time a girl message me I never know her so I never like her or nothing I didn't she come in and me you tell always a laugh for real Nicholas right I always a laugh for real no, I'm not going to say that, you know. I'm not going to say that. Okay, if you ask the people in my community if I love laugh, they're not, they not going to tell you yes. I'm always a screw. Always a screw when I'm in a public. I'm in my community, I walk down my gate, me a screw. See, you see it, so. I never try to watch a video, them. I'm going to laugh in my video, them, brother. I try to make content. I try to make people feel positive. If there's a reason to laugh, I am going to laugh. But for real, I love laugh. Anyway, that girl I say, you're a, you're real hilarious, hilarious and original. Thank you. That means a lot to me. That is a big compliment, you know. You say more original. Original, like clocks. Brother, thanks. That girl I say, thought you were a player. Whoa. The person say him look like him full of gimmicks. A crystal lap? Yeah, I'm full of gimmicks for real. I'm full of gimmicks. I'm full of, I'm full of gimmicks. I'm full, full of gimmicks. You want to spend a day around me. Especially when I run my friend them. Where them can chew fuel, fuel for my fire. And more gimmicks that. You see what I say? Um, watch the epic smasher pass. Watch the video there on my channel with two of my other bridge in them. Trouble. Looking like a book nerd. Chanel, I'm definitely a book nerd. You're not going to really see it because I don't, I don't think I look like a book nerd. So I don't know how you pick that up. But I'm a nerd for real. I just have to admit it and own it. This is a first impression, but you did always a study for the test them and now I share answer. <laughs> I don't want to laugh out loud because it's very late right now. It's 1 or 1 a.m. right now. So I don't want to laugh out loud. This is sorry for the people who love me laugh. I want to hear it but can't hear it. So I'm sorry. But. <laughs> this is my classmate. But he did always study for the test. They want to wash your answer. It's very true. Me and one of them students there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I don't feel like I don't feel like me for go home, sacrifice time for my phone, sacrifice playing game. I speak about high school life now, because them time they had that you didn't care about in high school. Being on your phone and social media, playing games. I don't feel like I have sacrifice my leisure time for study, come to school, and give an answer. So while me sacrifice my leisure time, you are enjoy your leisure time. Because remember say, sometimes I don't want to study, you know. But I have to force myself to study because I know say, it is something that I have to do. Because I have to pass. You see what I say? So, I force myself to study even when I never want to do it. And you never did have to go through the painful experience of forcing yourself, you know. You get to enjoy yourself, you know. And you come to school and you expect a man where he force himself to study. We prepared to help you. No, so I feel like that and fear. So I never share an answer with nobody. And the man them pray me feed because the man them said that frig up. No for one way I watch this right now as males. We didn't even go all boys school because that's the culture of a share answer. 
Me I never wanna them, brother. <laughs> me I never wanna them. Me can't go me yard, study, come to school, and share answer with you. Me sorry, me sorry, dog. Me sorry. Just like how me study, you forgo study to take up your book. Big up yourself, still, I say, dog. Big up yourself, bro. And I really see with them there. I really would go say. Ruth and Evie say you look older than your age. Really? No people say them think me are 18, 19. And I'm 21. I'm actually 22 in September. And I remember last summer when I went. Um, last summer when I went to the camp. Last summer when I was working on the Jewish camp. Um, me don't know why, but them they think me are 25, 26. Not Jamaicans. Mexicans. Yeah, the Mexican name did express that to me. Them think me at 25, 26. Well, my beard is much longer than this because I cut it down, so it's very short right now. But it did longer than this. You see what I say? And probably my hair did up a little bit more because I never did that trim because I couldn't leave the camp. So my hair did a little bit up more. I never that made him think me at 26. But it's amazing. Oh, no, no. And that me I say, me I say, oh, me I say, yeah. Smiley tell me that before I say I look older, but some people say I look younger like 18, 19, so I'm confused. Anyway, that girl I say, dark chocolate is chocolate, thanks. Um, that girl I say, wish I could remember the first impression. Yeah, you know, I remember the first impression because you know me from high school. You know me from primary school, so you know I remember the first impression. I did have a huge crush by you still, you know? Huge crush on you. Um, anyway. The girl has said love old school music. Very much so. I do not listen. I'm not going to say I'm not listen to anything else, but 99% of my playlist is old school music. The other the other part, the, the, the 1% is Kenji Clamar, Dua Lipa, The Weeknd, J. Cole, Drake. Which other has no artists I listen to? Right. Them are them, them, them five new artists that I can remember. I know a lot. Because I'm not TV, I'm not TV can I know a lot, I know all you, I know all you, but those are some honor, those are some people that I listen to nowadays. But my go to songs are all music. I feel like music now, people, this sounds cliche, but music now is not what it was. I don't get the same vibe when I get listening to an old song and a new song. So if I keep myself sane, if I keep myself happy, if I keep myself wholesome, if I keep my brain happy, just if I keep me in one good place, I stick to all music. Because no music now do nothing for me, brother. I don't know what go wrong, I don't know why they do different. I don't know what. I don't know if I value the society last hour. I don't know what. You see what I say? But all music is different, dog. The production, the lyrics, everything. Just everything. All music is everything to me. You see what I say? When I say old music, I don't talk about early 2000s. My own music stretched to the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. That mean by old music. Not 2005. Even though you have hits in a 2005, when I listen to Because you have Usher, but it's still around the place. Myra Carey. You see what I say? Uh, Michael Jackson is still alive. You see what I say? So, but I thought we were older than that. Anyways, I thought about music too much now. The person say, Girl, it's big time. You are man is too. You're full of man too. <laughs> You're full of man too. You're full of man too. Anyway, the girl I say, I'm a sim. This is the last one. Um, Just like how I described the lover boy thing. Um, I'm only a simp. I've only been a simp once. <laughs> I've only been a simp once. Like, as me say, I'm only a simp when I'm in love. I'm only a lover boy when I'm in love. I'm not automatically a simp in any relationship that I get into. I have to love you. I have to be in love with you to simp for you. You see what I mean? So the sim, the inner me, you know. I'm a certified lover boy, you know. It's inner me, you know. It engraved in me, you know. It engulfed in me, you know. But you're not going to see it and you're not going to get it if you're not capture my heart. 
You yes, see what I say? If we just this so and we just there, and we just like each other on a surface level, and it just step on the surface, it's not deep. I'm not going to see me for you. I'm still going to be a gentleman, I'm still going to be a sweet guy, I'm still going to be the best boyfriend ever. I'm just not going to be a, I'm just not going to be a sim for you. But only I'm going to be a sim if I'm in love with you. You see what I mean? That is the end of the video, guys. If you watch so far, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Is what I mean? Big up yourself.